Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In the second of a series of nuts and bolts video clips, we discuss how to keep things from coming apart. We begin where we left off on the last clip. That is, there are situations where you would never, ever want anything to get loose. Most important would be any situation that has high energy, such as at high speeds or with large inertias. It is a safety hazard if things let loose under these conditions. Also important is when a machine being down is costly, either due to expensive rates or if a lengthy downtime is needed for a particular repair. In these and other situations, there are many options that should all be considered carefully. We begin with the weak but quite common techniques. First, any important nut or bolt would benefit from using a torque wrench. This will protect from the equal risks of over or under tightening. However, this may not be enough, or may not be nearly enough. To this we could add lock washers of various styles, Loctite, or paint. There are many problems with any of these choices. First, they require considerable design and maintenance expertise despite their simple appearance. Second, and more importantly, these methods are far from bulletproof. I designed and built my own experimental aircraft. I can speak from experience that none of these methods are good enough when it really counts. The only method approved for most aircraft and other high reliability applications is using cotter pins or wiring to secure drilled head bolts or castellated nuts. Wiring is the preferred method, but is more complicated. It would take scores of pages or many hours to teach this craft properly. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. Please stay tuned for more nuts and bolts of web machine design and maintenance.